What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword Shield. In today's video, I'm back onto the ranked up ladder with this Grassy Surge Rillaboom team. This team was sent in by my boy TNT. Thank you so much for dropping this team. I'm so hyped to use it and ready to show off this new hidden ability Rillaboom. If you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support. Our last video for Pokemon Sword Shield of the Liberia Cinerase did so well on the channel. Hopefully, you guys can show the same amount of love for this one even more by just scrolling down just clicking that like button and that subscribe button if you're not already seriously it does go a long way but rocking out on the team part of the team right here is our Rillaboom Grassy Surge Rillaboom with Life Orb, Wood Hammer, High Horsepower, Knock Off and Protect as its moveset. If you guys do not know what the Grassy Terrain does, it's going to boost grass moves by 50% damage. So it's just like that on top of Stab with grass, it is going to be able to do some huge damage. And then Life Orb boosting as well. Like, oh my god, he's going to be an absolute beast. We also have Drift Limb down in the bottom left corner, who I think is going to pair very, very well with this Rillaboom as it has the Grassy Seeds. So when it comes in the grass terrain, it's going to boost his defense, then it's unburdened ability is going to pop off boosting its speed and we can just outspeed and do work with it we got tailwind sun sap shadow ball and ally switch so i can actually use it to boost speed for that rollaboom or just protect it with the ally switch or do strength saps all that good stuff to keep that rollaboom alive and dominating we got prima arena right here in the top left corner we got soul fest liquid voice as its ability with hyper voice moon blast energy ball as well energy ball is going to be great in the grassy terrain that's why we have it on it and hydro cannon for big stab move Draco fish with that choice scar fish is trying eq psychic fangs rock slide pretty good coverage moveset we can decide what move we want to scarf into, but most of the time, Draco Fish is going to be able to outspeed and just go from there. We also got Basharp and Arcanine, who are going to be awesome. Basharp is a nice defiant Pokemon, as Intimidate is pretty prevalent in the meta right now, so that can work out strong. It has Sucker Punch, Iron Head, Brick Break, and Throw Chop, and then the Arcanine. You guys know your boy Jeans loves that moveset on the Arcanine. We can control so much by lowering Special Attack or lowering Physical Attack with those will o -Wibs. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know if you do use it or if you've been using the new hidden abilities. How are you guys liking the new Grassy Surge Rillaboom? But without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Rillaboom team. Ooh, baby, hopping into battle number one with this Grassy Surge team. I'm hyped for it. I am hyped. I think it's going to work out so well, and I feel like we're going to get a good amount of wins. Maybe go 2-1, 3-0 for this video. Could be pretty dope. This guy has a Sun team right here with Whimsicott, Torkoal, Corviknight, Venusaur, Chlorophyll, Venusaur, obviously, Storm Drain, Gastron, and Charizard. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty safe lead to go into Rillaboom and Driftblade. We can get that uh, defense popping. I feel like we can just we can just be strong here, but it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary with that Charizard for sure. With that Charizard for sure. I mean, we can go for a Max Darkness move. How much damage are we really going to do? How much damage are we really going to do? Because if he leads, uh, just say he leads, Whimsicott Charizard. If he goes Whimsicott Charizard, or if he goes, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I feel like we can go with this. I feel like we can rock out and get going strong here. Um, who do I want to bring? Or 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 I can go Draco Fish. Yo, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go Draco Fish into Drift Blim. I mean, but then Drift Blim's Unburden doesn't pop. Mm, I really want this. Or I could just pop off into a uh, attack. It doesn't really matter. But I got to get this Grassy Seeds popping. And I could... Oh, my God. I could go into Ally Switch with it. Yes, we're rolling out with that. We'll bring Draco Fish here. And then in the final spot, it's either Basharp or... Hmm, Basharp or Arcanine. I'm going to go Arcanine because he can set the heat and we can roll out strong with that. But let's go. Let's go. I totally forgot about ally switch with this drift one so if he wants to go charizard i can instead of going for a tailwind i can just go for an ally switch run that start faking him out all that good stuff he wouldn't know what i'm gonna go for and try to take out that charizard but i'm hyped for this team i'm so hyped for these new hidden abilities the last one i have to try out is an inteleon team so if you guys do have a hidden ability inteleon squad make that a rental code and send it in the comment section down below i would love to get my hands on one of them and potentially use it for a video but let's go, dude. Not a bad lead for us. So no berries for us. Grassy Surge popping. Let's go. Boom. Just like that. We're, our C's are going to pop as well. And we're going to get that defense boost for our boy right here. Is he trying to bait the grass move? That is my question. Are you trying to bait the grass move? Don't you dare try to bait the grass move. I'm going to go for a Tailwind. Nice little Tailwind. I could just go for a Max Darkness. Or I could go here. But I seriously think he's going to swap. Right? He's got to swap. I could just go for a Max Darkness and lower Special Defense stats. Hmm. And then just potentially go for a Shadow Ball after that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because we might see a Dynamax of the Corviknight. 
But yeah, here he goes. He's gonna withdraw the Gash on. That's totally fine by me. You're gonna roll in Torkoal or uh, Charizard. Who are you gonna roll into? Torkoal. Torkoal comes out here, which is 100% fine by me. And the Drought is going to come upon us. And we have Max Quake as well, which we should be able to do some big damage to that thing. Oh, yes, sir. Here comes our Dynamax. Woo! Let's get it. Let's get it. Nice little read by me. That was kind of obvious. It was kind of obvious. It was just like, yo, you got a Gastron sitting there against a Grassy Surge Rillaboom? Like, bro, let's get it. Let's get rolling here. Bang. Big old Rillaboom. Wait till the G-Max forms come in. I'm so hyped for the new DLC. Like, oh my God. I cannot wait to get all the new Pokemon up in here. And we're going to set off this Tailwind because our Unburdened ability is coming in hot. And we're going to lower Special Defense, which is going to be pretty big for us. Let's see what happens here. Darkness. Yeah, you. We're going to do a little bit of damage. It's not stab, but still. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. We're gonna get that rolling there. Minus that special defense. And I'm gonna go after that, uh, that what's called after that. This, the Torkoal. I'm not dealing with him. This thing going for a Brave Bird or Tailwind. He's gonna go for a Bulk Up. He's going to Bulk Up and boost his attack and his, uh, hmm, and his defense. Okay. So, this is just going to neglect some of that Life Orb damage, which is awesome. This thing Leftovers. This thing is Leftovers, and he's gonna get some Grassy Surge, uh, help as well. But we have total speed control now, so I'm going to definitely drop a nice little Shadow Ball here. Because this thing is minus one. And I'm just going to go into a nice little Max Quake over onto this Torkoal. Gotta do some work on him. And I think he might actually Dynamax that Corvo Knight. He might actually Dynamax Corvo. Which actually could be pretty scary. Oh, he does not. He does not. Yo, that is lovely. Shadow Ball comes through. Yoy! How much damage are you doing this thing? It's minus one. Oh, yes, sir. Is this thing roosting? What's going on here? Quake comes out. We're getting a special defense boost as well. And I, I really want to use like a grass move. How much damage are we doing? We're taking out. Oh no, we're not taking out Torko. What you mean? Get out my face. We, get, we do get the special defense boost as well. But I'm, I'm fine right now. I'm totally fine right now. Even though he has to use Dynamax. He's kind of wasting out my turns. I just feel like this team is so good. Steel Wing comes in. And we eat that up all day, yo. Thank you very much. Eruption comes out. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Thank God we took the damage to that thing. That would have been scary. That would have been so scary. Good thing he used Eruption. Um. Okay, so Shadow Ball does take out that. Right? Shadow Ball should be able to take out that Corbin, right? Or do I just go into a max set now? He's, he's bulky one. So we're going to go Shadow Ball into that. And then, like, Quick again? Yeah, Quick's probably my best option just to boost our special defense another turn. So that is going to be huge. That's going to be huge. I'm thinking Shadow Ball takes that out, right? It's going to be close. His leftovers and that uh, Grassy Train did help out. But he did play this one fairly well. He did play this one pretty well here, but then we will have one more turn in the Trick Room, or not in the Trick Room, in the Tailwind after this, so we will gain speed, and potentially, if, if someone's not going to take a Wood Hammer well, we'll be good. Let's see what happens here. Shadow Ball comes out, no protection or anything, so do we pick up the Double Kill? I need to know here. Take it out. Take out Corvo. Yes, sir. Corvo gone. Torkoal gone. We're plus two on Special Defense, and we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I haven't been able to send that Grass move just yet. Just He's been throwing out Pokemon that, that eat him up pretty well. So... I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. We worked out pretty well. He still has Dynamax, and he has Flare set for two more turns. Or no, three more turns, actually. Three more turns. I seriously thought that Eruption was going to take us out, because I totally forgot that we put him on one HP. I was like, ooh. And then I realized it did, like, two damage, because it's based off his HP. And I think Charizard and Whimsicott, or Charizard Venusaur. Which I'm totally fine with. I feel like we outspeed him. Oh, no, he has Gastrodon. So Gastrodon and Charizard, or Gastrodon Venusaur? And who is this? This is the Venusaur. This is the lovely little Venusaur. Again, we got speed. I think we outspeed that Venusaur, even in heat. I think we're fine. And with the Unburdened ability as well. I could go for now. Shun Sap really won't do anything. Hmm, I said we just Shadow Ball. I said we double up into this thing. I doubt this thing's protecting. Maybe the Gashon might protect. I think Gashon's going to protect, in my opinion. I'm going to take off this thing's item. All right, let's roll out. Gastron's got to protect, because that's such an obvious play for the Wood Hammer to come across, or the Grass move, the Drum Beam to come across. You guys know what I'm saying? And he's got to be Dynamaxing the, uh, the Venusaur. Right, you got to be Dynamaxing that Venusaur, and we do have Arcanine, too. We have Arcanine as well. Venusaur does get the Dynamax, obviously. We are plus two. Both of us are plus two on our special defense move, so this is actually huge up against both these mons as they're both special attacking. Let's see what happens here. He's protecting. He does not protect. Dang, dude. We could have just dumped on that Gashadon. We could just said, see you later. And we knock off its item. What item is it holding? Life Orb? Life Orb. Let's get it. Big plays. Big plays. No more Life Orb. Uh, Ooze is coming through. This might KO? Maybe not. We'll see. Eat up, buddy. Yes, yo. Plus two coming up clutch. Um, how do I? I definitely got to get a Tailwind off. I definitely got to get a Tailwind off here. 
Oh, he actually might K KO me with this uh, Gashon. Goes for clear smog. You smart little biscuit. Goes for clear smog and we go down. Ooh, ah! Clear smog takes us out. Lucky duck. All right. No life board for him. Drift point is still plus two on defense. I could go for. Uh, nah, I kind of want to save my Draco. Draco does have speed. We're gonna try to uh, waste out this this uh, heat. We're gonna try to waste out this drought and then get my board. You can't go for a fish's run. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. Tim and eight popping doesn't really do too much. And I think if I can get this Tailwind off, we're looking good. So do I protect Tailwind? Potentially. Potentially protect Tailwind. Yeah, let's go Tailwind into protect. Oh, I could Snarl. I'm going to protect. I think he's going to come after me with the Max Quake. Let's see what you got, fool. Protecting. Protecting. Yeah, but that Rillaboom Drift Boom lead is so strong. It's so strong. The Drift Boom just outspeeds everything. Oh, my lord. That Unburdened ability is too good. It's too good. I could have just went for a like flare or something or a, a flamethrower. This doesn't work. But there we go. Protect's coming in clutch. He's plus two now. Well, both of them are plus two. I wonder what that Gashon's going for. Maybe a water move? But I know I outspeed that Venusaur and I should be able to take it out in one shot here. Which is a nice, beautiful flamethrower. Muddy water comes through. My boy's eating that up. My boy Dripplim is eating that up. Plus, that water is going to, uh, or the flares, the drought, whatever you want to call it, is going to neglect some of that damage. Easy, baby. Easy. Alright, so Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, pretty simple call here. I'm thinking we double up and, or do we not double up and do this? As much as I want to. As much as I want to, he does have that chance of just going into a, uh, a max guard. So, I just think Arcanine can do some work on it. Especially with that heat. The heat boost, stab, super effective. Ooh, big old damage. And once this is over, I'll get my Draco Fish up in there. Draco Fish can do slap skis. Let's see what happens here. Shadow Ball. Ooh. Nobody's guarding. That's fine by me. Much damage doing. Not too much. Can we get the drop? We do get the drop. Ooh, wee. Special defense drop. And Flamethrower comes in. Picks up Kazo. KO. Oh, we should double doubled in it. Oh, we get the burn. We get the burn. I love this game. <laughs> I'm feeling good right now. He's just boosting the attack. Big. He's boosting it big. If he's going to go down here, and it comes down to just Gastrodon, who's minus one on special defense. He's plus three. Mm -hmm. See what happens here. Ice Beam comes through. Ooh, 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 yeah, oh, leave me alone. No stab. I'm down to a 1v1. This one is so much closer than I thought it would be. Whoa there, whoa there. And he doesn't go down to the burn. What you mean? What you mean? That's whack. We lost this one. We lost this one? Are you serious? Oh, no. All right, Draco Fish. You got this, buddy. You have Psychic Fang. <laughs> what do I want to uh, Dynamax into? I mean, I guess Rock Slide's our best bet, right? It's not very effective on him, though. EQ? Yeah, EQ. We got to go for an EQs. Come on, EQ. We got Speed Advantage. I know that for a fact. Earthquake coming in clutch. You How much damage are we doing to Gastron? Mm, no, dude. An Ice Beam's going to take us out. It's going to take us out. Miss it! Just for Earth Power. That's still probably GG. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. GG to that guy. 0-1 for that first battle. I'm feeling good with this team, though. That was my first time using it, and I feel like we played very, very good. Just made a couple misplays at the end and lost the match. Second battle coming at you guys. If we would have took out that Venusaur with that flamethrower in that last battle, I feel like that would have just been easy wins. It would have just been easy wins, but we're going up against a Libero Cinderace team, which I think he is going to lead with the Whimsicott, predicting me going into Grassy Surge Roll Boom. So I could just go Draco Fish and Fish's Friend right off the bat and go from there. Hmm. That could be a call. That could be a call. And go Arcanine as well. Go Arcanine, Draco Fish, and then have Drift Blim and Roll Boom in the back end. Could be good. Could be good. Or I could go, uh... No, I'm really liking that. He does have the crawl on, which crawl on is a little scary, but... Hmm. Hmm. G Potential G-Max Toxicity as well. I could go Primarina with that Hyper Voice. I feel like Arcanine is so, so good here. Do I go Primarina, or do I go... I think I go Primarina here. Go Prima Arena. Let's go Prima Arena into uh, Arcanine. And then go into... Oh my god, I'm running out of time. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh no! No, please pick my team. Please pick my team. 
If you lock in mons, they should be able to, like, or the game should give them to you. They should give them to you. So let's see. Let's see. All I want is that Robin. I really do want that Robin. If not, this match is over. This match is done. I'm going to quit, and we're not playing anymore. <laughs> now nah, I'll probably play it out. I'll probably play it out. I always get too, like, into the game. Oh, Dripwim and Roboom could be a good, uh, good lead here. Prima Arena and Roboom. Okay. So what's at the Grassy Surge? Gotta watch out for that electric. I gotta watch out for that electric. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Grass covers the battlefield. Let's see who else we got. Did not get the Blimp. And we did not get the Arcanine. Alright, but we did get really. We did get really, really. Go for a moon blast. That thing have a balloon? Let's say he had a balloon. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna Dynamax take out Toxicity here. I don't think it said he had a balloon. I hope he didn't have a balloon. Let's see what this thing does. We're gonna get the special defense boost, but man, I would love to have Drip Blim up in here right now. It'd be so clutch. It'd be so, so clutch. He's probably gonna go for an overdrive and a screen or a uh, fake out, something along those lines. Let's just see. Let's just see. We got the grassy, the rain rolling. I'd love to get a grass move rolling on a, on a Pokemon. Oh, and I realized last battle as well, if I would have just went for my wood ha hammer opportunity on that Gastron, that would have been easy GG's. Because the Gastron did clutch it up for him. Fake out comes out on my Rillaboom. Let's get it. That's what we wanted. And here comes the Volt Switch. This thing's gone. This thing's gone. He's out of here. He's out of here. We do eat up. He gets a crit. Ooh, wee. Out my face. And please do not go into a flying mod like the Garrus. He's going to go into the Garrus. He's going to go for that attack. Bruh, don't do me dirty. I love how he has little uh, drumsticks. Oh, he goes into Wimscott. Okay, I'm cool with Wimscott. We'll do some damage to that thing. We'll do some damage. Go into Wimscott and the quick coming out here. Hey, hey. Give me that special defense boost. Boop. A little not very effective shot, but still, we take it. Do we think we can pick up this KO with the Moonblast? No screens going on, nothing. Just a nice big stab Moonblast. Super effective. Come on, show it to me. Life Orb comes out here, but we're going to get some HP back from the terrain. And Moonblast comes in for the KO. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Primo Rina. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what does this fool want? He's definitely going Tailwind on the next turn. We know that. And he might. Th his next mod is going to be his Dynamax mod. Unless he brings out Toxtricity. Toxtricity. Which I think he might actually pull out once again. Once again. Yeah, or maybe not. We do have the Quake, so we'll see. See what it wants. I think he's gonna. I think he's bringing Gyarados. He's gonna pop Intimidate. Go into an Airstream. Natural Moxie. Let's just see. Let's just see. Let's stop overthinking this. Let's stop overthinking this. But dude, I'm loving this team. I really am liking this team a lot. And I don't know what's better now, like Bureau or this, <laughs> or this Grassy Surge. Just send out Toxtricity. Okay, maybe he's trying to bait me. Do I predict the bait? I predict the bait, potentially. Um, I just want to go into a hyper voice here. Hmm. I think I'd rather just go into moon blast. But I'm gonna predict the bait. Or do I just play it safe, go for a max darkness? Just see. ah, dude, I got. I'm gonna predict the bait. I'm gonna predict you swapping into a, a, a Gyarados or something like that. Right? Did, did I choose right? No, he's gonna Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax his Toxtricity. Probably G-Max. And he's going to take out my Prima Arena. Go for a nice little Tailwind. He's going to start setting up. Oh my god, dude. G-Max Toxtricity is so cool, man. Should have just quaked this thing. Could have been chilling. Could have been chilling. Real good. Or he might just go for an Ooze. We can guard. I don't care. Whatever you want. Then up. Oh, he's setting up screen screens. He's setting up screen screens, baby. He's going to go for an Ooze over here. Boost his special uh, attack. And dude, the oozes are coming up big on this thing. Nah, he might be able to take us out with another ooze. See what happens. I could guard the next turn as well. He gets a special attack boost. And here goes our overgrowth. Not gonna do too, too much. Because we were trying to bait. We thought he was maybe baiting the Gyarus or something. Oh my god, but still there's a heaping amount. Chillax, dude. Chillax. Here comes the blasting of the moons. Yeah, can we pick up KO? Whimsy dead? Whimsy dead? Oh, oh, ah, ooh, ooh. 
What do you mean? What do you mean? And then Reflect's probably gonna pop out here. Do I guard and pick up the, the double KO? I could guard and pick up double KO. Hmm. Well, not double KO. We'll just pick up a KO on the wind spot. Hmm. Look, he's gonna read me. Look, he's gonna read me, so I'm just gonna go here. I'm going to quake on this thing. He's gotta be setting up the screens, right? You going for the ooze? What are you doing? Gleam comes out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And G Max stun shot going on my Free Marina, right? Yes, yes. I think he was reading the guard. I think he was reading the guard. This could be good for us unless we're paralyzed and we can't move. If you're poisoned, that's fine by me. That's totally fine by me. Free Marina faints and potentially uh, Toxicity goes down here. He goes down here. Dude. Toxicity gone. Get it out of here. Okay. I changed my move at the last second. He was looking for that max guard. He was looking for that max guard. We rocking out. We rocking out. Even on a team that we didn't even pick. We don't even have my drift one up in here. Things restoring HP like it's nothing. Uh, bu -bu -bump. Who do we have left? Do we, do we have Fish and Defiant? Real boom? Not Defiant. Real boom. Defiant. Uh, with Sharp? Yeah, we do. Oh my god, it's lovely. Um, who should I go into? I could sash up. I could sucker punch, but I think I saved that. I think we go Draco Fish here. Draco Fish. I can break screens if I really want to. I can break them screens, and he goes Cinder Ace. He goes Cinder Ace, baby. Draco Fish. So I'm gonna double into Cinder Ace. I'm definitely doubling into that thing. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Or does that thing? I don't think that thing has protect. It's like Biro. We're gonna go Fish's Rand into high horsepower, and we're double. We're doubling into that thing. He's gotta go. I think he's gotta go. He's gotta go, man. And I was really set on him having Gyarados. Gyarados probably wouldn't be clutch for him. There's air strings and all that. Oh, he's wondering. I don't think he has Protect. I don't think he has it. Oh, he does not. Bye bye, Cinderace. See ya. <laughs> Dumped on that thing. I'm surprised this thing's not setting up Tailwind. That's gonna be game. It's gonna be game. Grassy Surge, Roboom coming up clutch. Unless he dies here, let's see. Nope, Roboom survives. And Jericho Fish eats up as well. High, hor high Horsepower comes in. Game over. Yeah, 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 yeah. One and one with this team. I'm telling you, we should have won that first one. I'm mad. But hopefully in this last battle, I get to show off that Drift Bloom. Drift, Drift Bloom. Drift Blim. Oh my god, I can't even pronounce it right now. Drift Blim and Rillaboom combo. Looking to snatch that winning record in this third and final battle. He has Dragapult, the Raladon, Sableye, who is so scary. Such a great support mod. Colossal, Draco Fish, and Bean Bean. I think Rillaboom Drift Blim is just a solid. Just so good. This is such a good lead. I cannot wait to see how these new hidden ability starters uh, shape the meta and the online competitive play. I feel like it's going to be awesome. Um, I could go Arcanine. Hmm, he has special attackers. I mean, Arcanine is just so good at controlling a lot of things. So I think I am going to go Arcanine all around. We can throw Burns. We can do all that good stuff. And then in the final spot, do I go Primarina, Draco Fish, or Be Sharp? Or Be Sharp. I think Primarina can do work here. He has that Assault Vest. Especially he has uh, a few physical attackers on. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There's no Intimidate. I mean, but Be Sharp in the back end is nice. It really is. It's steam engine, but everyone knows that Fish's Run is so good. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for that Fish's Run, man. Let's get it, baby. Grassy Surge Drip Blim trying to show it off in this final battle. Yo, let's get it. I'm gonna say this again. I know I said this in the beginning of the video, but if you guys do have a hidden ability in Teleon team, leave it in the comment section down below. I would love to check them out and potentially use one for my next video because I'm trying to show off all the new hidden abilities. Now we're doing real boom, and then we just need Inteleon gonna be awesome it is going to be awesome he's gonna go Polsky and colossal which i'm totally cool with um we can go for our tailwind i could dynamax and throw a nice little big grass move a nice big grass move grassy start Yay! i'm just saying special attack and is he really gonna is he gonna set heat what's this thing going to do or does this thing have air stream grassy seeds popping defense boost is that only plus one stage is that plus one stage let me see i think it's one stage right yeah all right uh, we could dynamite. I could go for darkness and say bye bye pole. I could just go for an overgrowth into colossal. 
But Colossal just poses such a big threat. I think he's got to go. Right? Right. Well, I could go for a Quake, but still. That 50% boost, I'm going with it. Uh, this. Over on the Colossal. I could Strength Set. I could just go for Shadow Ball, but I'd rather go for a Tailwind. Just start taking speed advantage. Oh, now strong. Get my Unburden popping. And we Dynamax him. I guess he's not Dynamax him. Unless he's Dynamax and Colossal. Unless he's Dynamax and Colossal. Let's see what he's doing. What you want, fool? I think a potential screen or a T Wave uh, Dragon Ball here. A nice little support one. That's what I love about Dragon Ball. You can do so much with it. You can legit have it support. You can have a special attack. You can have a physical attack. And you can do everything with it. It's just lovely. But he's going to Dynamax that Colossal. So good thing we are doing damage to it. He might actually just take me out in one shot with a flare. It's going to be tough. This is going to be tough. And it's G Max Colossal. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Big old Colossal. I'm not proccing its weakness policy, which is awesome. I feel like this thing is potentially weakness policy. And we're going to go first. Tailwind comes out. Wow, dude. This triple is speedy. Fashion and Pulse Heat. And our, 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 oh, no. We have Unburden. That's why. Unburden triple and outspeeds Pulse all day long. How much damage are we doing here? Not bad at all. Nice little half ski there. Not bad at all, dude. Surf. Oh, this is what it was. Dude, I totally forgot. He almost took out his Colossal, man. He almost took out his Colossal, no problem. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, if we would have went into... Nah, I feel like uh, this would have did more. Jeez, man. He goes for Volk with... Oh, wrong, Drift Show me Drift Show me Drift, me drift, me. Got me drift me. Yes. Yes, I don't care about Drift Wim anymore. Drift Wim's dead. Drift Wim got its tail went up. It's chilling. It is doing just fine. It's doing just fine. That's all I needed. That is all I needed was that Tailwind. We got the Grand Sea Surge up. Bullet Boom's pretty much set up. Um, Colossal might protect here. So I think I just go into a Max Darkness. Take out the uh, the Dragapult. And we could just go into a Steam Engine Fish's Ren. And just choice into Fish's Ren, right? Yeah, that is totally our best play. That is our best play right now. Let's get it, Rula. Boom! I feel like a lot of people are not like ready for this they're not ready for the grassy surge let me see what other pokemon he could have i mean dude nothing's really eating up a fish's red too well i'm just gonna go for a darkness say bye bye the poltsky unless he's sash potentially and then we're just gonna uh should we scarf into a fish's friend we got speed all day we got speed all day he might guard we're fine with that he's dead anyway that's why i did bring in a draco fish and put my max move over onto the dragon Pult because i was predicting a guard and oh no we're at low batteries do i have my plug right here i do Always plugged in at all times. Check us out, guys. We bring it up our plug. Yes. Plug. Max Darkness comes out here, and this thing is Sash. We do have speed, so I can have Dragapult or not Dragapult. Dragonfish actually finish that thing off in one shot, no problem. With the fish's rank, because we do have speed advantage. And I wonder what this thing's gonna go for. Please do not go for like a Dragon Dart. Um, leave me alone. He does go for a Dragon Dart. Did we eat up at least one? Oh my god, that was easy. That that was light work. I thought it was gonna do a lot more. The second one comes out, and Willaboom says that's a tasty little snack. That's a tasty little snack. Vocal lift damage comes out. Boop, bop, boop. Drops his rocks. <laughs> Yo, he's sitting good. We sitting good. I'm in love with this team. I'm probably going to start using this on a rank ladder. Like, Grassy Surge Willaboom, I really thought Libero Cinerace was going to be top tier. I think this thing's taking it over. This thing is going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. I don't know if it's just because it's strong right now, or like maybe just people don't really know what to do up against it. But right now, this thing's fire. Mwah. Mwah. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful little mon. Yes, sir. He goes Sable, Sable. Um, either way, I'm cool with it. Another darkness comes through. Another darkness, or do I, do I just overgrowth? I love overgrowth. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna overgrowth, and then I'm just going to fish his run. Over on pulp. He looking good, baby. Let's see what happens here. Ally switch too. That's totally fine. It's totally fine. What's it called? It's coming in hot here. He's going for a quash. What the, like, quick question. What did that do? What did that do for you, buddy? What did that do for you? You did nothing. What was the point of that ally switch? It was nothing because you were quashing. If you're stable, I use it, and then you would have pulled off another dragon arch to take out potentially my uh, Draco fish. But nah, you stupid. Stupid little boy. Fish is right here. Hey! Take him out. Nope, because he went first. He would have did double damage and I'll probably KO that thing. But yeah, 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 yeah. Winning record looking good. Hey, hey, hey. Jeans, 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 jeans. Yo, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you guys 
for dealing with me. My silliness, my goofiness. I seriously do hope you guys enjoy all the content I do have to offer on my YouTube channel and on my Twitch page. I don't know if I said this yet, but if you want to catch more content from me, link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Come catch the live stream. Ask me questions. Hang out with me. It's tons of fun. I would love to see you guys there. But Draco Fish comes out for him. And do we still have Tailwind? I think we have one more turn left in the Tailwind. And I think a Woodhammer can uh, take this thing out in a shot. And unless he quashes me. Which I hope he quashes the Draco Fish. But I'm going for this. I'm going for this. Oh, we got to go for this run. He's going to go for Quash on Draco? Yes, yo, on Draco. So Woodhammer, sh we should be able to outspeed. And maybe take this thing out with the Grassy Surge. Stab and Life Form. Big damage. Big damage, Roboom. This thing is a god. This thing is a god. GG. GG, baby. Vicious Rank comes in. This actually might not KO because he went first. Is he going to KO? It does. We end up picking up the KO, getting a high roll on that move. But yo, GG 2 and 1 with this team. I thought we should have went 3 and 0, oh, but it's alright. This team is phenomenal. I kind of feel bad for giving Cinderace all the love in that last video because of its hidden ability. Because this Grassy Surge hidden ability is insane. I think this actually might take the cake. People were saying in the comment section down below in the last video that this is actually really good. And I agree with it now. It is so strong and awesome. It pairs well with this Drift Room team. And I absolutely love it. TNT, thank you so much for dropping this team. It was awesome. I cannot wait to potentially use another one of your teams in the future. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.